doing good and you spent some nice and cozy Christmas days if you celebrate. As promised in my latest video where I took you with me for Christmas shopping in Paris, I will show you the gifts that were lying under the tree for me this year. And as we were in Paris, of course, I also got some souvenirs and some things for myself that I will, of course, also show you in this video. Let's get right into it. one of the best if not the actual best place to shop in Europe if you ask me especially around Christmas time it is so magical the entire city is sparkling and you get into such a festive mood I managed to get almost all the Christmas gifts that I was looking for there for my family and my friends in case you did not see my Paris video yet make sure to watch it you won't regret it I got so much nice footage from Christmassy Paris of course I will leave you a link at the end of this video and I would say we start with the first gift the first thing that I'm going to show you today is actually a gift from me to me as this is something that I've been wanting for and hunting for quite a while now. It is something from Celine and it's this huge shopping bag here. The item is actually not that big. I think they just did not find any smaller bag than this. This piece is a classic Celine style that comes in different variations each season. So I had a couple of different versions of this on my wish list, but I never found the perfect style in my size so far until I asked for any options available at the Avenue Montaigne store in Paris. Okay, let me first unbox this so you know what I'm talking about and then continue with some details about the story behind. So let me take it out. It's a little difficult to show. Okay, as you can already see, it is a ready to wear piece. It's actually my first ready to wear piece from Celine, I think. I only have some bags and some jewelry so far from the brand, but I really love Celine. It is one of the first luxury designer brands where I got my first things from. So let me open up the zip and remove the dust bag are you ready to see what's inside guys because i'm not it's so so beautiful it is a Celine Chasseur jacket in this most beautiful caramel color in a cozy and warm wool mohair mix I mean, how beautiful is this jacket, guys? Isn't it pure perfection? I'm so, so, so obsessed. I love the color, I love all the details. It's so typical for Celine with all the golden buttons down here, with the pockets, the cut. Oh my gosh, it's just perfect. I just love how classic the Celine Chasseur jacket is in its silhouette. Every season there are different variations of this and let me tell you, every season they are all pretty. It's so hard to decide. I've always been thinking of either a black and white striped one, a creamy white one or anything that goes in this caramel brown direction. So now a bit about the background history of this. When I asked the essay for any options of this jacket, she came back with four options. One in black, one in olive green, one in a creamy white shade and with this caramel one here. I actually even saw a fifth option hanging in the store which was actually the trigger for me asking the essay for this jacket but unfortunately this one was not available in my size. The white silk one was actually the one that I had on top of my mind as I've previously seen it in Vienna once and I immediately fell in love with that style. I really liked the braided details and the structured material and I couldn't believe that they still had it in the Paris boutique as it was from the spring summer collection. It was actually the last piece left and it was a size that fitted me. It was a size 34. Well, when it comes to sizes, there are actually several sizes that fit me. So I tried on a 34, a 36, and a 38 and all three sizes would work for me but as said the white one was a 34 and it did fit but I felt a little bit too narrow under the armpits so it was fine if I'm only wearing a t-shirt below as I did in the store when trying it on but I think I could not fit a thin knit under the jacket which I would definitely like to wear under it so it was not 100% perfect. I mean the white one is anyways more for spring and summer as it is really light but I wanted to wear this jacket as 
much as possible all year round so I was not so sure anymore if this would be the right choice and I gave the other ones a try. I can't remember the size of the black one but it also fitted very well. It looked super chic and I think it's also very easy to style but the reason why I decided against it is that I often wear black pants and I wanted something that contrasts to the black so I wanted a jacket that stands out a little bit. The olive one was also very nice but it's not a color that I opt for very often so I decided against that one pretty quickly. And then I tried on this caramel one in size 36 and I immediately liked it. It's pretty much the opposite to the white one as it's obviously more wintry and for the cooler season with its thick wool hair mix. So I was torn between this and the white one. The white one was obviously perfect for the spring summer season and it was the one that I originally wanted and the caramel one was obviously perfect for fall winter so now what to do? It took me ages to decide and I did not want to get two jackets at the same time as this is my very first Celine jacket and I wanted it to be something special that I always remember, you know, that one one first jacket so I had to make a decision but in the end everybody in the store said that this jacket is just made for me and that the caramel suits me very well the essay, some other clients, as well as my boyfriend were all of the same opinion, so I trusted them and I went for this caramel beauty here. I did not regret this decision yet and I think I will never do because this one is simply the smarter choice when it comes to the material as well as to the color, which is way less sensitive and more easy to take care of. And I think I can also wear this jacket in the coolest spring days for sure. Let's see how I will like this jacket. I think that I will enjoy wearing it a lot. So maybe this was just the first chaussette jacket in my closet and I might start growing a little collection and add one each year. Let's see, let's just manifest it. Just when I was about to pay the jacket, I stumbled across something else that I could not leave there. Did you know that Celine makes Christmas ornaments? I mean, can it even get more delicate? I was sold in a minute I saw it. So now I have the most luxurious Christmas bubbles. They're already hanging on the tree. I mean, how stunning are these? Couldn't help myself and had to take these with me. I was so scared to break them on my flight back home because they are very fragile as they are made out of glass and even the essay was not sure if it is really the best idea to carry them back all the way home to Austria. They only came in this box here with some black tissue paper inside which doesn't really protect them so I wrapped them into soft toilet paper and carried them in my hand luggage so in my handbag and I made it home safely and none of them broke and I'm so happy that they survived. I know that this is very unnecessary but for some reason it brings me joy. All right let's continue with the next bag which is again from Celine. Generally this uh, unboxing includes lots of Celine and in general French brands as I love to stick to French fashion houses when shopping in Paris. So the Celine boutique at Avenue Montaigne was not the only one we visited. We also stopped by the store at Rue Saint-Honoré which was brand new and just opened the weekend we were in Paris. Previously there was only the perfume boutique but they extended it to include some accessories like handbags, SLGs, belts, home decor and even pet toys. So if you're looking for a gift, this is definitely a good place to go to. I already tried out some perfumes when we were in Paris in June and this time I decided to take one or to be precise, actually two scents with me. Why two? I will show you in a minute. Let me take it out. So I got the travel spray, which comes with two scents that you can choose from. So you have here, this travel spray case and then you can choose two cents in the travel size which is I think 15 milliliters let me check ah uh, yes it's actually 15 milliliters I decided for parade and for La Peau Nue this is parade and this is a case just open it up and put it in I have to remove the plastic here before so then you can put it in like this and you have the perfect travel size perfume to put in your handbag or if you're traveling into your luggage wherever you need it i think this is super cute it's such a nice gift idea so they gave me this little voyage travel bag here where i had my two cents in and then you also have two spray thingies i'm not sure how to say that in english diffusers this one is what i mean so that you don't mix the perfumes, you have one for each. I also got some samples. I have here Eau de Californie and a little bit bigger one 
with the parade scent. I think this is in the mini size that they also sell as a set. Yeah, exactly, it's this one. So if you want to try out all the Celine perfumes, there is one set where they have all the scents of the house in uh, this size. So I think it's also a very nice gift idea if you want to introduce somebody to Celine fragrances. Let me describe a little bit the scents that I chose. Parade is a musky powdery cologne with notes of bergamot, neroli, vetiva, musk and oak moss. It smells citrusy fresh and is very lightweight, a perfect everyday scent. And then we have La Peau Nue, which means bare skin. This one is a velvety smooth, powdery, milky, creamy, slightly flowery scent with accents of orris and subtle notes of rose, bergamot, rice powder and vetiver. This one is heavier than Parade, slightly sweet but not too much. This one is a very elegant scent that I would use more in the evening. Spray case is available in gold, black, silver and ivory gold, which I went for. You can even get a leather case for the spray, a very nice gift idea if you ask me, especially as it's just a small 50ml refill. It is perfect for trying out and becoming familiar with the scents. If you order this online and you're unsure about the scent you have chosen, you can always try the complimentary sample first that is included in each order before unsealing the product. Then I also got a Celine candle, which is also such a nice gift I think because it does not only smell good but it's also such a pretty decor object for home. Let me get the candle out of the box. So very pretty packaging of course. You have here some black Celine scented paper I guess or it's scented from the candle and then let me take out this beauty. Looks like this all black with the white Celine tag on top and then you can also get a matching candle lid. So let me put that down and show it to you. So this is the candle lid to protect the candle when you don't use it. It's available in silver and gold and I decided for the gold version. Let me remove the plastic so that you can see it in its full glory. You have to pay extra for the lid, so it's not complimentary, just so that you know. But I think you get a better price if you buy it together. I'm not sure about this, I would need to check. But anyways, it's a candle and then you can just put this on top and how pretty does this look? I mean, it's the perfect decoration for the holidays or pretty much for all year round. The scent I liked most is Palompsest, which has notes of rose, pear, ivy and moss. It is fresh and fruity and if you like the Teak's Bay candle, you will certainly also like this one. And the essay also gave me some matching Celine matches to light up the candle. I mean, how chic is that? <laughs> Love it. The last Celine piece for today is something that I got from my boyfriend. It is also something that was on my wish list for quite a while in either black, white or pale pink shade. Let me show you what it is right away. So let me take it out. It is the Celine Triumph belt in the small size in black smooth calf skin. The small size has a width of 1.8 centimeters. There's also a teen size with 1.3 centimeters and a medium one with 2.5 centimeters. I did not want it to be too chunky, so this middle width is perfect. The teen one is very thin. Okay, let me also remove the sticker from the buckle. On the inside you have here the little Celine logo and if you're interested in the length I'm wearing this is an 85 so I usually tend to choose longer belts because I want to be able to wear them higher on the waist but also lower on the hips because you can always pinch in another hole but if it's too short you don't have so much versatility in wearing it so this is why I always tend to go for a bigger one. My boyfriend did very well and went for the classic black one and I think it looks super chic. Actually I did not even like the new Celine that much after Edith Sliman took over from Phoebe Philo in I think it was 2018 but slowly the new identity is growing a bit on me and I started liking it again. I've always been a big Celine lover. My black trio bag and my knot bracelets were my very first luxury purchases that really started my love for design. To be honest, I'm still a bit nostalgic and not the biggest fan of the new logo being ripped off the accent on the E, 
but I do really like the Triumph design and I'm slowly getting back at it. Celine recently came up with so many nice small objects and decor from the home, so if you're looking for nice gift ideas, definitely check out the Maison Celine collection, including some stationery such as notebooks, pens, they also have jewelry cases, vanity cases, toiletry cases, then they also have pocket mirrors and combs and they're even pet toys and I think I've even seen a controller case like for the gaming controller. You pretty much find everything there. When I was looking for odds like this, I used to check out Saint Laurent Riftward and Dior, but now also Celine is serving up some really nice little gift ideas. Also, how cute are those Triumph gummies that the essay gave us? I think this is super cute, but honestly, I have to say that they don't taste that good, but they're pretty. This already leads me to the next gift I got from the just mentioned Saint Laurent Rivebrot collection. The store at Rue Saint Honoré is really worth a visit and there you also find many small gift ideas similar like the ones that I just mentioned from Celine. And around the corner there's also the Saint Laurent coffee stand so if you would like to check this out uh, don't forget about it. Already in June I tried to find the ceramic coffee mug or the metal travel mug but both were sold out at this time so we tried again in December. So here we have it. This is the ceramic travel mug. So you have here on top a lid that is soft, I think it's like silicone or something. And this one here is ceramic, so it's actually not really a to-go cup. It's more like for the home because obviously it can break. And then let me show you the metal one. Looks like this, it's like a thermic bottle. And this one is really nice to use for on the go. I use something like this every day when I go to work, getting a fresh coffee with me. And yeah, I think it's just super chic and I wanted to have this for quite a long time. It's not that easy to get because it's often sold out, but it's really nice. This bottle is also available in silver and gold, but I wanted to get the black one because I think on the silver and gold one you probably see all the fingerprints and you have to clean it all the time that it looks good. And this ceramic mug here is also available in transparent in glass. And uh, there's another version in black with stars on it and I think it says Paris under the Saint Laurent logo. And last but not least, we have another little something in here. We also got the bottle opener. I got several ones of them because I gifted them to basically all my friends and family because I think it's such a nice cool little gadget that probably everybody can use and need just a fancy bottle opener. Next up we have the only thing that does not come from a French designer. It is something from Loewe and this is also something that I've been considering to get for quite a while as it is the perfect staple piece. It's also a ready to wear piece. Unfortunately they ran out of the Christmas packaging so I got the plain white one. My boyfriend got a scarf for Christmas and he got one of the nice Christmas packagings. Maybe I can show it to you. So this is Loewe's Christmas packaging of this year. It's in this shiny metal pink shade. I think it's pretty cool and there is a bowl here. I don't know what is the message behind that. Need to think about it. But I think it looks super cool. Then I also have to show you this beautiful scarf that he got as a Christmas present. How stunning is it? It's in this multi beige tone combination with the anagram all over. I think it's so pretty. I have to steal it. All right, let's get back to my gifts and open this up. A little bit much from traveling back home. Let me get it out. So here we have the Loewe Enneagram silk blouse in this beautiful ivory shade. Not sure if you see all of the crinkles, but it definitely needs an ironing. But how beautiful is this blouse? As I said, it is the perfect staple piece. I love the little anagram detail here on the patch pocket. I was so close to order it online a couple of times, but I'm so glad that I waited to try it on in Paris because 
First, I was not aware that there are two very similar styles of this one and I would have chosen the one that I didn't like that much as this one. And second, I was also not aware of the sizing, so these run actually very big and I would have gone for the completely wrong size. I would have gone for a 36 or a 38 as I usually like it to be a little bit more oversized and loose. But when I tried it on in the store, I actually ended up with the smallest size available, which is a 32. Never ever would I have ordered this size when I would have ordered it online. So I'm really glad that I tried it on. And then you have those two different styles. I originally wanted the one where the anagram on the pocket is stitched, but I expected the material to look way different as it is structured almost like linen and the color called milk has quite a strong yellow undertone which I didn't expect. As you can see this one that I ended up getting is smooth and silky without any structure and the color is a clean white. It's a little bit of a warm white but it doesn't have any yellow undertone. As said the only thing that I was not so happy with at the beginning is that the logo is not embroidered, it's completely flat and therefore less noticeable but somehow I started liking this even more as it is more subtle and does not cry too much for attention. Very elegant. In case you're interested, I will link both options in the description box of this video. Both of them are silk, but I just preferred the smooth and silky look without any structure. Next up, we have a beautiful gift that I got from my mom. It is an orange box, so you probably all know where it's from. And you've also certainly seen me unboxing this piece in a similar style before. So when you watched my Paris unboxing video in summer, you have seen it. Maybe you can tell by the size of the box what it could be. So let me open it up. The one that I unboxed definitely started the love for this accessory. So now I'm starting to grow a little collection. And this is my second piece. And it is another MS belt with the H cursive buckle in palladium and we have here a beautiful combination of a tube on this side in swift leather and blanc on this side in epsom leather so let me put on the buckle you just put it here and then you push it through the little hole and that's it. I hope I did it right. And then this is how you close the belt. So you put this in from the inside. That's a little bit hard from the other side. But like this. And then you can push through. And this is how it closes. And from the front it looks like this. I have two straps with two colors each and two buckles so I actually have now eight different combinations that I can create. What I did not know but found out when looking for the link to this belt for you is that the buckles are made in Switzerland and the leather belt straps are made in France. Then we get to some small beauty gifts that I got. First we have here the Oribe Obsessed set which includes three of the brand's must-have products. I never tried Oribe products before so I'm really curious how I will like this but so far I've only heard good about the Gold Lust series which is included in this set so let me open it up and show you what's inside. I always wanted to try it out so this set is very nice to get to know the brands. So first we have here the Gold Lust Repair and Restore Shampoo. Then we have here the Gold Lust Repair and Restore Conditioner. And last but not least, we have here the Dry Texturizing Spray. My current favorite hair products are from Way, so I'm really curious if this will be able to top my favorite Way products. It must be good to be better, to be honest, because Way smells super good, makes the hair super smooth and also doesn't grease very fast so it is perfect i'm using the fine hair line and the fine to medium hair mask but i'm really curious to try these out the gold glass repair and restore shampoo includes cypress extracts and argan oil which shall strengthen and make the hair glossy and shiny sounds promising the gold glass repair and restore conditioner shall smooth moisture and seal the hair to protect it from damage and split ends without weighing it down and the dry texturizing spray shall help build volume and texture which i hope will help to make my waves last longer naturally i have pin straight hair so when i curl my hair when it is freshly washed 
because usually don't last for more than a few hours. And the packaging also says that it is a brilliant alternative to dry shampoo, so I'm really curious how this will perform. The packaging also describes the Oribe's signature scent called Côte d'Azur, which was developed in collaboration with a French fragrance house. The scent has notes of bergamot, jasmine and sandalwood, which I like a lot. Sounds interesting. I'm really curious if this will smell better than the way products that I mentioned before that smell absolutely heavenly, but I'm looking forward to give this a chance and try it out. Then we have another little beautifier here. It's the La Mer Lip Balm, also something that I always wanted to try out. So I was very happy when I was gifted this for Christmas. Let me take it out. It looks like this. I mean, packaging is a 10 out of 10. It has this shiny silver lid and uh, on the other side it's dark green. And let me open it up. That's how it looks like. It's just a normal lip balm. Ooh, this smells very minty. When it comes to lip balm, my current favorites are the one from Chanel, from Sisley and from MS. So let's see if this one will also join the favorites list. But I have to say that I'm a little bit critical because it includes mint and I'm not the biggest fan of mint in lip products because I feel like it can sometimes burn a little bit and I don't know, I just don't like the feeling of mint balm on my lips, I guess, but I will for sure give it a try. This lip balm shall contain a high concentration of La Mer's famous Miracle Sea Cat Broth, so yeah, at least it should be a very good product and I'm curious to try it out. Then we have this little Gucci bag here, and this is also something that I got for myself at Galerie Lafayette. If you are in Paris, make sure to check out the beauty section there. It is huge and they pretty much have every brand that you can dream of. Here we have one lipstick, which is already empty. Let me get the lipstick for you. So here it is. It has the most stunning, beautiful golden packaging. The color is 102 Lorne Dune, the perfect nude shade for me. The lipstick has a satiny finish, but tends to get a bit dry throughout the day. So I usually put some lip balm under it as a base so now i actually have the perfect combination and then we have here a gucci blush honestly i just fell for the packaging i definitely don't need another blush because i currently still have one from dior but how stunning is this i mean look at the golden stars it's so christmasy i couldn't say no to this i think you can also use it for your eyes i've seen on the packaging but I'm not sure if pink really suits me that well as an eye makeup, so I'll probably just use it as a blush. Let me open it up so that you can see the color. It's a very fresh pink shade, so it's something that I really like and that I use. It's very similar to the Dior Rosy Glow that I already have. I'm just a victim for nice packaging, let's put it as it is. <laughs> the last beauty products that we have for today are also from Galerie Lafayette and they are from Hermes. Here we have the Rosy Lip Enhancer. Let me put that out. It is the color 49 Rose Tan. Of course, the packaging is always super pretty when it's done by Hermes. So here, the lipstick comes in a little protecting cloth bag and this is how it looks like. I think if there would be an award for a nice lipstick design, MS would definitely win it. And yeah, this is how it looks like. This is the color. It's a fresh pink shade, so it doesn't look that dark on the lips when you wear it. As the name says, it's just a lip enhancer. So it is more like a lip balm with a little pop of pink. And then I also got the MS Complexion Balm. This is also something that I really wanted to get because it's so hard to order something like this online when you can't try out the shade. So I had to make use of this chance um, when I could try it on at Galerie Lafayette. This is how it looks like. I have the color 10 Coquillage. It seems to be a perfect match, but I have to say that I didn't try it out on my face yet. So I will also report back if this is something nice or not. And then we have another really nice souvenir from Paris, which is already hanging on the walls opposite of me. I will show you in a second. When we went to Paris back in June, we already brought back two posters, one from Louis Vuitton and one from MS. These are old advertisements from the 20s and 30s. 
So we started to make this a bit of a tradition and got another two posters, this time from Dior and another one from Louis Vuitton. The Dior one is a poster from a Dior exhibition called Christian Dior L'autre lui-même, which means Christian Dior the other himself, that took place at the Richard Anacreon Modern Art Museum in Granville in 1987. If you're interested in more details about the background of this poster, I will leave you an interesting link in the description box of this video. The other poster is an advert advertisement of Louis Vuitton from 1936. Then I got some merch from my favorite coffee store, which is Café Kitsune. You definitely have to try it out when you're in Paris and I think it's also um, in some other places in the world. But here I got this little linen bag here. I'm not sure what to use this for yet. I thought maybe as either a, a bag for bread and like fresh pastries, bakery stuff when having breakfast or yeah, I don't know. It's just a super small bag for running errands maybe as well. I just found it super cute. And then I also got this coffee cup here. Please excuse that it is already used and not clean because I just had a cup of coffee out of this, but it's with the well-known Kitsune logo and I think it just looked kind of cool. So I had to take this one with me and it's currently my favorite cup. And then, I also got some more merch. I'm usually not falling that much for merch, but the one from Cafe Kitsune is just too good. Actually, I think this is not even from the cafe, but from the fashion brand, which is called Maison Kitsune. Let me take it out. We have here beautiful wrapping paper, and we got a little t-shirt in the most beautiful sand color. Looks like this, again, with the white logo. I did not even try this on in the store, so I have to see if it fits. If not, I will gift it to my boyfriend, but it's a size small, so I think it should be fine. I just like the color and I thought it's nice, easy to throw on t-shirt from my favorite coffee store. And then I also stopped by Le Labo and got a bottle of Santal 33 mixed. So this is also a very nice gift idea. Maybe you need it for a birthday or for next year, Christmas. You can get the perfumes mixed directly in the store. So it's super fresh and then uh, it's personalized. So they print whatever you want here on the label. And there's also the date and the place and the person who mixed this uh, set for you. And when you open this up, you also have the personalization on the bottle. So you have your little note, it says Merci, very nice. And then here you also have the personalization on the label of the perfume. So it says Compounded in Paris by Domingo, thank you for that. Uh, he was also so nice to allow me to film him when mixing it. So if you want to see how this was compounded, make sure to check out my latest Paris vlog. And it was mixed on the 9th of December for me. So I put my Instagram name on top here. I think this is just a very nice gift idea and the perfume oh, already sounds so amazing. Although I did not even spray it. It's so, so good and it's also very long lasting. So. I can really recommend Lillaboo perfumes. They are super good. And this is the perfect wintry scent. Santal 33 is woody spicy with notes of sandalwood, papyrus, cedarwood, cardamom, iris, violet, ambrox, and leather. I just noticed that he actually put the wrong year on the label. So we're actually traveling in time and the label says that the perfume was compounded on the 9th of December 23. So it's a perfume from the future. <laughs> well, it can happen. I don't really mind. It's all about the scent and the scent is absolutely amazing. The bag with the most exciting gift inside I kept for the end. It is something from Chanel from the 31 Rue Combon store. And you will probably hate me for doing this now, but I think I would like to dedicate an own video to this because what is inside is just too special to not give it its own attention. I promise that this unboxing video will come very soon, but what I can already tell you is that there is a new bag inside and let me tell you, it is absolutely gorgeous. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss out 
on this very special unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got from Christmas slash from Paris this year. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite item or also what you got for Christmas if you would like to share. As I already said in my latest video, for me the most important thing is to be able to share some time with my loved ones, especially around Christmas time. I always enjoy it so much and I feel very grateful that I still have everybody around me. I know that there are many out there that might not have been able to spend such a peaceful Christmas full of love and joy. And I want you to know that I'm very well aware of how lucky I am uh, living such a fulfilled life. I really appreciate this and I do think about those who might have a hard time and try to give back as much as I can. In many parts of the world, life is really tough at the moment. So in case you're also open to give something back and you want to support some people around the world that might need our help, I linked some charity organizations in the description box below. So just choose any of them that speaks to you and I think it helps a lot even if it's just a small contribution. If everybody gives a little bit, we can definitely move a mountain and support people who are in need. I don't want to get too emotional now, but just remind you to be grateful and to enjoy the good moments of your life. And if you're alone or in an unpleasant situation now, don't be afraid to seek out for help. I'm sure the better times will come to end this with a positive note. I'm also really thankful for the small community that we built up over the last year and I'm looking forward to grow it further with like-minded people. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to this channel to not miss out on any upcoming ones and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!